Tag this time on CDK Global, the software used by thousands of auto dealerships. It's Michigan, it's the entire country, about 15,000 dealers a service. So, you know, this is a big, big outage in, in our industry and uh, hopefully it'll be rectified soon. Todd Zod is president of the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. He says CDK notified clients early this morning. They've shut us down from being able to access it while they investigate actually what happened. They've acted swiftly. They've taken all systems offline. You know, to me, it has all the, the looks and feel uh, of a ransomware event. Cybersecurity expert David Derajotis says hackers are relentless. We're dependent on technology. We're dependent on software. And if there's any fail point along the whole digital supply chain, it has ripple effects. That's what we're seeing with this exact example here. Just last month, a ransomware attack at Ascension Health created chaos at their hospitals. When you're dependent on a third party, on a vendor, on any type of software to provide a critical aspect of your business, if it's interacting with clients, if it's being able to a access patient health records, if it's being able to transact and uh, you know handle payments, if any of those things go down, it creates a significant business interruption loss. So it's so important for every organization to pre-plan to prepare for when these things do happen because ultimately they do happen at some point. That point is right now for CDK, leaving dealerships unable to finalize sales or register vehicles the Secretary of State. The other system that's down is what they call the CBR system, which is a system we use to register um, uh, vehicles with the state of Michigan because CDK actually runs that system. Meaning paperwork will be delayed, but Zot says they're still able to do business. We can still help you pick out a car. You can still do a test drive. You know, we can, we can do an oil change. We can maintain your car, fix your car. That's not a problem. CDK telling Fox 2 they are actively investigating a cyber incident and are working diligently to get everything up and running as quickly as possible. They say they are confident the CDK phones, DMs, and digital retail have been restored. In Southfield, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News. Okay, shalom, shalom. Only 50% of Americans got this question right. How Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the spirit. Okay, and um, you know, of course, another hack, another data breach or whatever they want to call it, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, we just touch on things like this to kind of give an update or a PSA. Because you just never know what Esau would do, you know. Um, this could be some um, some 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 American shit. This may not necessarily be. This could be just your your local government or your you know your U.S. of A. doing shit like this to kind of plant that seed of um you know so you know distrust and mainly getting to the point of Revelation thirteen sixteen. You know where you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You know unless you take the M A R K the mark of the beauty and the beast. Because they're about to roll that shit out. <laughs> and that's one good way of them. You know, we, we don't know how they're going to do it. We, we, we'll see when it happens. But if the right things go out, if there's the, the right hacking or if they say blackout or whatever they want to call it, then they could easily say, well, you know what? We got an answer for that shit. We're going to, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come line up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So and, and brother's been doing um lessons on this thing. And I found this this article to be interesting as well. And it was just the way that it was worded. You know, um this person that works at uh what is this Costco, right? It says next step is implanting the microchip fumes Costco shopper as store installs <laughs> new tool to halt membership sharing, right? Okay, it says um Costco's has added in, uh, membership scanners to some locations but a shopper feels it could lead to more advanced security measures and it's going to you know what i'm saying that's why you're seeing all these self-checkout um kiosk and all these things that you know mostly people are using digital ways of payment people not really dealing with no cash like that really you know um it says the costco shopper made a drastic assumption that membership scanners are a gateway to microchip technology. 
<laughs> and look at it. Look look at the shit right there in the door. Look at it. And and and, and Esau's gradualism has has worked over the years. You know, people are more used to just walking in, you know, pulling out a card, tapping pay, using Apple Pay, using Samsung Pay, whatever the thing may be, Zelle, um, Cash App, all that shit. You know, it's just real simple and easy for people now. And, and people are doing it with no problem. Okay, it says the membership scanners were implemented to curb members from allowing non-members to use their cards to shop at Costco's. Costco's are now... See, everybody is about a money grab right now, too. Everybody is about a money grab right now. You know, you, you kind of have the Netflix hook up, you know, where Netflix, they kind of cut into, you know, um, people sharing their accounts and shit like that. Hey, they down to the... They want every single cent right now because... The sales are down on everything overall. You know, a lot of people go to Costco though to kind of try and get some bulk. You know, try and get a little more bang for their buck. But um, hey, it is what it is, man. It says Costco's announced the new way to confirm members are using their cars properly in June 2023. The membership scanners started roll out rolling out to select stores over the past year. The microchip comment came as a reply to Costco's shopper. Tom Nippers post on Facebook about how he spotted a scanner at a store in River um, Riverbank, California, 94 miles east of San Francisco. New Costco, new process, Nippers said in his post that included a photo of a, co a Costco employee checking membership cards. Riverbank 613 new membership card scanners at the entrance is a very quick process. Okay, it says microchipped. Nipper explained how the scanner shows the member's picture and non-members will no longer be able to pass by. Hey, it's a good way to set shit up to get food, right? You can't get in there to get no food or buy any other products. You can't, you know, you're not going to be able to even get in. And if you try and force your way in there, of course, you know, they, they got the police on deck. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, trying to get out of there will be the thing. It says, yes, the member's photo and info pops up on the screen. For the attendant to view, never continue. No more sharing memberships. Some shoppers think the switch up was a step too far, while others are thrilled about it. See, and that's that, you know, that, that half and half, man. That separation of the country. Because what? When COV went down, COV-19 went down, half the country went out there and took that shit with no problems. The other half was like, uh-uh, I'm not doing that shit. Then you had all that division in the households, division in the families, you know? When them holidays rolled around, a lot of people was like, hey, you didn't take your shots, you're not coming to my house. A lot of people was like, hey, you took them shots, you're not coming to my house. <laughs> you know, you're not visiting the baby, you're not coming to, your, you know, grandma and all that shit, man. But let's get this one real quick, because it's, it's division. And that's the way that it's going to be, really, when it straight comes down to that MOTB, that Market of Beauty and the Beast. It's going to be... People that are pretty much dependent upon, you know, um, the government to begin with. A lot of um, single women, you know, they get food stamps and Section 8. A lot of those are people are going to go right to the white man's loving care and jump right into his arms and take whatever he has coming. But it's going to be, a lot, you know, a lot of people that's going to resist, man. So let me just get that first. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So you again, you got half the country, you know, half of the Costco member. You know, I mean, it's, it's it's that's pretty much how this place is, man. Everybody is divided up. Everybody, you know, you got to have and it's pretty much 50 percent of the people still believe Trump is their president. The other 50 percent voted for Biden, you know, and, and that's the separation in the country. But let me get um. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Or in that first story that we played with the car dealership hookup, I mean that's 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 big, cause there's too many hacks. There's been too many of them shits done happen this year already. This just you know um half the year done went by. It's been like three or four or five major ones, you know, and and you know not to mention you know the um the phone companies and shit dropping AT and T and all those outages and shit that they had. People trying to call nine one one and do all those different things. So. We just had to keep an eyeball out on all this stuff. So this is 2 Corinthians 20, 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of the fact that this man could throw a quick blackout out there 
drain your damn bank account. You wake up in the morning, your ass have zero balance. And next thing you know, people panicking and, you know, rolling up to banks, you know, banging on doors and shit, knocking out windows, trying to get in to find out what happened to their money and shit like that. Phone lines backed up. No, ain't nobody going to answer the phone. And then all of a sudden, you know, damn lights come back on. You see this damn alert warning going across the TV. <laughs> so it's going to be it's going to be hectic, man. What does the scripture says? Never trust thine enemy. Like it's I am rested, so is his wickedness. And our people trust too much in Esau. That's why we just live day to day. You know, we, you know, we, we're on some day to day living. We're, we're pretty much like, not necessarily pilgrims, but we kind of live like pilgrims. You know, we just going out, getting our daily bread, going to work, doing what we have to do, paying the little bills that we have to pay, not getting too involved and too attached to too much shit. We just don't get attached to nothing. You need to detach from this place. Because it's going to come a point where everybody is about to bug the hell out. Because they, they got to do it some kind of way. We don't know how they're going to, you know, shut down shit. And then once they reboot, they got to, um, you know, they they they, they got your your, your uh, local tattoo artist, your piercing artist. <laughs> sitting there, you know, um, um, walking you in one by one into a booth. You know, and um, you're coming out with that, that thing in your hand. Or in your goddamn head, your neural link. Anyway, though, let's let's see what else they got. It says, um, <laughs> and yeah, poor Costco's. How will they ever survive? If God forbid I let the single mom at work <laughs> use my card, <laughs> use my card to go buy something. Another you user sarcastically said, Love it. Coming to all stores, I believe. Another user client. Oh, yeah, chimed in. Oh, yeah, it's coming to not just Costco's. That shit gonna be everywhere. It says, Good. Sharing is much like cheating. Someone commented. Membership crackdown. Crackdown. Costco finance chief Richard Galanti said the membership scanners are beneficial to the company and shoppers. It speeds up. See, that's how they're going to get you. That's why the scripture says never, um, um, you know, um, it says, though they humble themselves and go crouching. It says never trust thine enemy. It goes on to say, roughly paraphrasing, though they humble themselves and go crouching. And this is one of those statements where they go humbling themselves and crouching right here. He says, um, it speeds up the process at entry and speeds up the process at the checkout. And, and, and that's the, you know, that that's the only thing that they've really been giving on people as far as convenience. Because I was watching this video earlier and I actually reposted it. I had to, the, um, the elder, um, watchman GMS camp, um, GMS out in New York, but he had a nice, um, about a 20 minute segment, man, of a, of a conference. That was, um, you know, they were speaking with a guy from Sweden, you know what I'm saying, on, on the MOTB. And you know how those those Swedish people, they pretty much, they trust their government. And, and it was a lot of them that had the, um, the thing already in them, you know, not using cash no more. So, I mean, they, they basically was like, it's going to, you know, it was just like the silly ass excuses that he was using to, to make people try, you know, to appeal to people's. Like, you know, oh, just in case you lose your keys. Like, motherfucker, I, I'm not losing my keys. I'm not a fucking five-year-old. I can put a key into a door and turn it. I don't give a fuck. I'm supposed to let you put something in my hand to automatically unlock a door. No, that's not worth it. Oh, you can get into um, um your computer. Uh, motherfucker, I'm not stupid. I can go ahead and type my password in. I'm not even giving you a fingerprint. That that double authentic, uh, authentic, authenticity, I think what they call it, um... I think where they, you do a fingerprint and a damn eye scan. No, oh, you're not doing all that to me. To check to see if you're the authentic person of the device. No, I don't need all that. Goddamn um, um, six-digit password. Boom, 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 boom. I'm good. Anybody get into that shit from there, I don't give a fuck, man. It's just a phone. Shut all that shit down. I'm not putting no credit card information in it. I'm not running no damn... Um, um, I'm not running none of that shit. Fuck a cash app. Fuck Zelle. Fuck, I'm not doing any of that shit. You know? I'm not doing none of that unless unless I have to just do it. You know, it's not nothing wrong with it, but I'm not I'm not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? It's just real simple for me until they get to a point of. But when they come to a point of saying, hey, you hey, come and let us put this in you. That's when you got to throw all this shit away. <laughs> that's when it ends, man. We just using it until it ends. That's it. Using this world and not abusing it. We get in where we fit in. We get the fuck out because when the Lord says a shut down time. It's going to be shut down time. Well, we're going to just be out here, man, just really dependent upon him because we're dependent upon him already. 
right? But that was the shit that he was trying to use. The guy was talking all like, oh, yeah, and you know, uh, what else is he saying? You can buy a food in the, in, the, in, the, in the employee's cafeteria. What the fuck, man? Well, I'm bringing a lunch. Get the fuck out of here. I'm brown bagging it, motherfucker. I got a lunchbox. God damn it. I ain't buying nothing in, in the cafeteria. What, what's in the cafeteria that, that, that I need so bad that I need, to, need you to put a fucking device in my hand to get it? Get the hell out of here. That, I mean, so all the things that they were saying, but it's that convenience, convenience. Then he went off into the banking part of it, talking about, um, I guess, you know, um, as far as doing banking, you could, you know, shit would go through through in milliseconds, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, look, I'm not impatient like that. You know, so anyway, it, it's not worth it. So it's going to come a point where you, know, you just never know how they're going to they gonna push this out, man. Okay, it says, um, it speeds up the process at entry, at entry and speeds up the process at checkout. He told CNN, that's what we believe and we're going to pilot it. So they're going, they're going hardcore with this. Costco also released a statement in um, 2023 in June explaining how it caught on to the tactic non-members were using and how it affected their profits. See that? You know, you, you, you know, yeah, because of data. They collecting data on your ass. And you know people go online and text every goddamn thing they, they do. It says Costco has strict rules for membership use that shoppers must follow, and they've been cracking down on offenders in recent years. Uh, they go off into the membership. They got a household card, a guest policy. You can bring up to two guests per visit to Costco. However, only members can make purchases. Guests must be accompanied by the member. Authorized card for okay, all that bullshit. Um, our membership policy states that our membership cards are all right. Anyway, we don't feel it's right that non-members receive the same benefits and pricing as our members. Yeah, I get it, but you already know what they next level next level they're gonna take that shit to. You know, it, it's not because those are warehouses, man. I mean, everything is pretty much that's what it is. Your WalMarts, they can Walmart can easily say, you know, well. You're going to need a membership now to get in Walmart. Big box store. It's not a whole lot of um, supermarkets like that. In the hood, I'm not going to front. You see, the places that's being affected is really um, Esau shit. Now, don't get me wrong. Us in the neighborhoods, we got to go and deal with, you know, um, the damn heathen. And, 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 and you know, deal with that price hike. Because they're going to definitely um, throw a price hike on your ass. But overall, we have still smaller supermarkets and stuff like that in these hoods. As opposed to a lot of so-called white people, they don't. They they really rely on Walmart. They really rely on on the big box stores like that. They don't, you know. See, we have to leave, or at least where I'm at in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Like we have to leave the hood to actually go out into, you know, the burbs, so to speak, to actually shop at a Walmart. Other than that, I can just go around the corner. It's a you know supermarkets all throughout the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That's owned by Ishmael, of course. You know what I'm saying? These goddamn Arabs. But you know, generally. We can go, and you know, they, they, I, right, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they, you know, they, they do price, you know, hike the prices. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more if you, um, in the neighborhood as opposed to a Walmart because they get shit in bulk, but it doesn't affect so-called Negroes really like that. If they were to close down a Walmart, we still got these, 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 um, you know, cause I can think of like three or four supermarkets within a mile radius of me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, there are food deserts here, you know, in certain places where you got to go a little bit further. A lot of people be really thinking that, you know, they get, they hit Walmart, they're going to get a better deal. But Walmart hitting motherfuckers over the head, too. <laughs> For real. You, you pay attention to Walmart prices, even the store brand. The store brand is just as much as the name brand. You might as well get the name brand. Literally, a lot of the times it'd be more so. Double check. Pick up one of their items as far as on um, Walmart's items and, and pick up the same same item, you know what I'm saying, by a uh, name brand. And, and that name brand more than likely going to be cheaper. See, they, they snuck the people. And people are not really checking like that. They're just thinking, okay, a store brand, it's got to be cheaper. And they don't even price check or look at any of the other stuff. So that's just a little nugget. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been noticing that. You know, but nothing too major on this, man. I just wanted to just touch on this real quick. But let me get the, um, the main thing that all this is leading up to. Revelation 13. This is what it's coming down to. And, and with the, the way these wars, World War Three is talking, you know, the, the crack-a-lacking with that, duh. 
<laughs> hey, that shit moving fast. You got Russia done linked up with North Korea. Now um, uh, the, the president of Russia is over in Taiwan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no, not Taiwan. Is it Taiwan? No, I think it's Vietnam. Vietnamese. Because, you know, they had a real big ties with them. BRICS nations is building up real strong. Um, the conflict that's going on over in Ukraine, you know, with Russia. You got um, that Israeli Gaza, not a Hezbollah. Man, it's all kinds. It's wars, rumors of wars is cracking, man. And before that third world's war, which is, is pretty close, man. I mean, it's pretty much it's popping. Before that comes, this right here has to happen. It's mark of the beauty and the beast, man. So it's getting close. And with these hacks, it's nothing for them to shut this bitch down and say, oh, we got hacked by Russia. And you wake up in the morning and people going to lose their goddamn mind, man. People going to lose their mind when they get their little $100,000 gone, a million dollars gone, $2 million gone. And all Esau got to do is say, well, hey, you know what? We we got something for that. We can reimburse you. We're not going to be able to give you everything, but, you know, you come and let us put this thing in you so we can eradicate this problem of, of where this would never happen again. But then next thing you, man, look, bro, shit about to get crazy out here. Revelation 13, 16. It says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads right and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so this shit is going to be like something exclusive like you know vip at a damn club you're not going to be able to get up to the top floor man to get to the bottles popping <laughs> unless you, you you know you have that special invite and that's what this man is about to do man Everybody else is going to be, you know, on the outside. And you got people that's so dependent upon the government, man, and they're just going to jump. They're going to jump right into it. But now you will see people, they'll see stories like that. Because even Esau, the so-called white man, he knows that, um, that that shit has got to do with the Bible. They they understand that it's prophetic. They just don't understand to what extent. Right? So now, let's go to verse chapter 14 right here. This is the results as to, you know, if you fall for the bullshit... The apostle going on, okay. Apostle. Probably about to go live there. But verse 9, and it says, Doom for worshipers of the beast. That's that's the subtitle on that. It says, and then, Revelation 14 and 9, KJV, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb so if your ass is you know you take it and you still alive that thermonuclear fire gonna tear your ass up man and that that's if you don't take it as well but you know it's gonna be more likely hey look that's gonna be a temptation on everyone because they're because these people are in control of how you survive basically as far as food and water they did the main things that you need see it's nothing for this man to turn off the taps man it's nothing for this man to say hey the water is poison or he could actually do something to the water have a few people collapse you know what i'm saying scare the shit out of everybody <laughs> you know what i'm saying and, and next thing you know they like well hey we have water but you're gonna come through here and then you know of course people are gonna be doing a lot of that stuff on the strength of their babies man you know they're gonna be doing it for their children so to speak you know that's where a lot of people gonna get caught up at you know so now you got to be aware man of this man now chapter 16 it goes 16 and verse 2 it says revelation 16 and 2 it says and when the and for and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped the wor worshiped his image so, a, a grievous sore, ain't no telling what the fuck that's going to be. Some big pus bucket on your goddamn face. You done grew an extra head. Never, just never know, man. A damn extra arm grow out your rib cage or some shit. Esau, man, I don't trust nothing this man got going on. Nothing, man. And these proud bastards, man, they ready to chop it up on you, too. And the main people they're going to really try and hit is you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you Israelites. Because that's your biblical nationality. Because see, what he wants is to perpetually enslave you. He wants the Lord's portion. 
He wants the Lord's inheritance, which are you. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the inheritance of the Lord. You are the Lord's portion. Out of all the nations, the Lord chose you, the children of Israel. So Esau, the so-called white man, he's trying to get his birthright back. He's trying to get his blessing back. And he's losing bad. And on that um, chapter 12 right here, Revelation 12 and 12, and that's, this is why you're starting to see a lot of shit speed up. And you got these uproars of the people in the world, too. I'm watching Euro News in the backdrop right now. Man, people all over the world. Esau, the so-called white man, he's going, hey, he's ready to tear their damn governments up. He, they ready to tear their asses apart. And the scriptures talks about they will not regard their kings and their princes. They like, man, fuck y'all, man. We starving. <laughs> y'all, y'all, you know, because they they're starting to see that the one percent of their people are taking up all the resources and they're not sharing and, and, and they and they're they're feeling the grunt of it see back in the days they used to be doing all right now the same things that we used to go through they're going through now they want to try and you know stand and fight so to speak well revelation 12 and 12 it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil which just goes off into deceiver. There's not some red guy under the ground. That's all fairy tale. That word devil goes off into deceiver. He's deceptive. And this is the so-called white man, man. He's the he's very deceptive. It says, For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. See? And the Christian church used to teach, ah, oh, yeah, the, you know, the, the guy, well, he's got the pitchfork, he's pissed. Nah, man, this is the uh, the physical counterpart of Satan is the so-called white race, man. Look at the earth. They're in control of everything. Look at the way that the earth is being ran. Then they want to throw around some goddamn climate change and get to telling you about how cows is farting too much. And now we got to eat lab-grown meat or some goddamn bugs. Um, the, um, the elder, I mean, um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the brother, um, um, Shapa. I'm 12. He put up a video day before yesterday, I think it was, with the military. I think spending like 87 million dollars on lab grown meat for the military. Like, man, who the fuck? Like, come on, bro. But he's in control. That Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where who is he? So he's able to say, "Up, oh, this is going to be planted. This is going to be um um the uh, uh, uh what's going to be sprayed on it. This is um, um we're going to take the seeds out of this. You know, we're going to put this kind of um treatment in the water. We're going to do this. We're going and, and they're in control. So we are totally dependent. We 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 have no choice but to be totally dependent upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because we we have no power. We have no might." In our hand to tell this man no, you know, other than you, hey, we're not taking your your shit, you know what I'm saying? But you know, we don't have no might as far as stopping this man from doing what he he's capable of doing to us. Only the Lord has that. So we're dependent upon you. How about Shimmy our side, man, when the straight comes down to it? So, hey man, high time to awake out of sleep. A lot of stuff, a lot of prophecies are playing out. And there's no time to be playing no damn games, man. To you camps, man, that's out here teaching the bullshit and you're not telling our people that this is what's up next. Shame on you, man. You know, and the Lord gonna deal with you too. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than will you believe. See that? Now is the time, man. Shit getting close, man. Shit is, we, we at the doorstep of this thing. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And how do you do that? You know, you, you got to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. Yahweh is the name of the Father, which means he exists or the existing one in the Paleo-Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Son, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And he's not some blonde haired blue eyed white guy, man. That's all fairy tale. That's all idolatry. You got to get rid of all that shit because the main people that's going to take this shit that's coming is going to be these damn Christians. And they're going to try and use, you know, like Revelation 13 and obey the government and all this other type. They're going to use all that shit to try and get you to line up all in the name of sweet white baby Jesus, which is a goddamn idol. Y'all better get away from them churches, man. That 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 that's that boat done sail. You still believe in the white Jesus in 2024. Shame on you, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, hey. It's not a good look, man. So, 
we definitely living in the last days. There's some, there's some real wicked shit going on out here. Everywhere you go, just nastiness. Nasty. Just nastiness, man. So you repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord said to watch and pray. He says to measure thou the time diligently. Here you go, people out here right now. Uh, 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 doing a bunch of nastiness during this June with the, the uh, with, cause they so goddamn haughty. They, they, your haughty month, I'll call it. But like a, you know, they, to keep it classy, haughty. They're proud as hell. You know, all manner of shit going on throughout the earth with this, through, through this, 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 this month, man. They turned this month into a, a wicked ass month. You got all that going on. The love of many is waxing cold. Iniquity shall abound, man, because the love of many shall wax cold. People out here doing all manner of nastiness and all kinds of disgusting things, man. Not caring about their family no more. The most atrocious, heinous crimes is going on right now. So it's not going to be much longer before the Lord, you know, set this place ablaze, man. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, man. It's getting closer and closer. This World War Three, your know, last major prophecies, man. That's it. You got your World War Three, and you got this market of beauty and the beast, and um, of course, Jacob's trouble. When Jacob's trouble go hardcore, that's hey, we 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 pretty much there. So hey, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kumiyashala in the Bible bar.